Hello, and today we're going to be talking about how Andrew Cuomo may become the 2020 nominee for the Democratic Party. Now, Andrew Cuomo is the three-term governor, I believe, of New York. He has an impressive resume when you look at what he did. Now, Andrew Cuomo is the son of Mario Cuomo, the governor of New York for, I believe, three or four terms as well. Uh, okay, so... With Biden being 77 years old with dementia, you would think we need a new person in control, in power. And I would agree. So Bernie's not going to win and nobody wants a socialist. So we need a neoliberal to take over the mantle. And if you were to look at states like Arizona, if we're going to look at states like Florida that are in play, we got to look at who can win. And that is a moderate like uh, this man, Andrew Cuomo. And since his approval rating is at about 85%, we're looking at a possibility of him capitalizing on the moment and running last minute. Okay? This guy's very influential. He was uh, an assistant district attorney in New York. He was the Secretary of Housing and Development during Bill Clinton's uh, first term. And he has been in New York politics for about 20 years. Okay? He was even considered being a Senate appointee. For New York so let's keep this in mind he's like the governor of, of the second biggest state or somewhere up there and he is very important he survived progressive candidates like Cynthia Nixon's uh, primary and still won with about two-thirds of the vote and that is to say that he is very competitive electorally and he is very strong in his home state but not only that but this is the New York dynamic that you might need to be Donald Trump and very important electoral states I see this playing out well I think Cuomo would be a lot more conf um, a lot more confident in his in his one to one attacks on Trump. I think he's a lot more mobster like. He is he is in fact Italian. He has more balls than his brother Chris Cuomo on CNN, and I think that uh, he goes further into the 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 mud in terms of slandering other people, and that's exactly what we need, you know, in terms of beating Trump. So yes, I do think that he would be more qualified, but not only that, but even Donald Trump said so on Fox and Friends a couple days ago that that Cuomo would be a harder guy to beat. Of course, anybody could see that, and he has a good record. He supported gay rights before, I believe, Joe Biden did. He is a pro-Israel guy, so this is going to be very palatable to himself. Now, he does have a lot of scandals, and of course, every governor does, right? But his are pretty egregious. We're talking a bundled up administration in terms of tens of millions of dollars being wasted on Hurricane Sandy funds, which is very big. He also, under his rule, allowed for a, a New York uh, Republican Senate to take over the government, which is really crazy. You think New York Republicans, well, they came back all of a sudden, and it's his fault, which means that not only does he veto a lot of progressive initiatives, but he also sucks up to the Republicans, of course, who control the state Senate. So he does not get much done, especially ever since he took control a couple of years ago. So very interesting. His criminal justice reform has been seen as very bad. Trump could hit him on that. That's another vulnerability for Andrew Cuomo. But look, part of the reason why he did not run in 2016 was simply because of the flaws in his administration. But I believe nowadays that he has an infinitely bigger chance now than before only because he can substitute biden in the last minute without having to campaign at all which is great and people would say well he doesn't have staffers on the ground he doesn't have so and so on the ground they're not knocking on doors well biden's campaign isn't either why because of coronavirus this is a particularly golden plate scenario for andrew cuomo where he doesn't lose anything if he runs and i think at the convention he really is a good choice to replace trump i mean sorry biden when his approval rating is so high and i understand it's like 9 11 it's an artificial boost but a boost is a boost and the numbers show it if he were to become the nominee he has a substantially better chance of beating donald trump i would say that he would carry a couple more states than biden would if trump has a 65 percent chance of beating biden i believe cuomo versus trump i think trump has the edge 55 to 45 so substantially better odds, and he could technically win, of course. So this is very interesting as a scenario. But not only that, but there's also the 2024 
option where he does not run this year, but he could definitely be a nominee in contention in 2024. Remember, he, he could be ostensibly term limited, but not only that, but let's also include the fact that New York has a ton of delegates, and if he can be a very big champion in his own state, then that'll give him a ton of leverage. Very important. He could have been a good VP pick, though Biden said he'd pick a woman. So he's, 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 he's going to be a very big guy in the future in politics. Now, thank you for watching, and goodbye.